Hello everyone, here we are again with another older video re-edited and re-uploaded. In this one I made what I'm, I'm not sure if I should call it a coaster or like a little plaque, but I guess I'll go with coaster. A little coaster of Stitch from Lilo and Stitch, childhood favorite uh, of mine personally, and my wife's as well. So, uh, I really cannot remember what what phone it was specifically, what model or anything it was that I recorded these older videos on, but it did not have much storage at all, and it absolutely hated to hold on to my footage. So, there was a lot of times that it would completely lose, like, so much time worth of recording. And it was terribly annoying. Um, there'll be a day when I move past recording on cheap phones and it'll be great. But anyway, for now, to this video, uh, most of this project was uh, carving, sketching... The little stitch out on this piece of wood didn't take very long. I did cut this like I did the uh, umbrella coaster from a piece of wood from a scrap pallet. And made a, f a few different coasters from it. I only recorded so many videos about it, but uh, so many of the ones that I made, I didn't think some of them would be interesting enough. I actually made this one specifically for my wife. Yeah, I would take the uh, pallets the like reclaim pallets and cut them down using a little jigsaw I would use a cup for the uh, do a circle and here I've broken out a rotary tool to try to get this inlaid outlaid inlaid a little better add some depth to the carving I think it turns out pretty good in the end But yeah, like like I was saying, I guess at the start of this, this project is mostly just a lot of carving. So how's your day going? Well, if you've watched this far, hopefully pretty well. It's hard to determine, I suppose. You can always let me know in the comments. I do keep up with my comments. Um, usually pretty well willing to reply as long as it's a sensible comment. Um, here I've broken out an actual sanding drum for the rotary tool. Dremel and uh, trying to make the part that I've dug down uh, a bit more flush and here I'm taking a like a flat spade bit on the wood burning tool that I've got and shading uh, I don't really know what that's called but I'm gonna call it like a shading bit for the wood burner there to add some well shading the stitch that's really what I'm doing <laughs> it's hard to it's hard to voice over regular art videos much less my old ones that I made three years ago there he is a little bit shaded and here I've got some uh, oil I believe this is oil that I'm using to uh, stain the wood with yeah I mean if you click the thumbnail, you already know what it's going to turn out to look like, so it's not much of a surprise, I guess. <laughs> so how's your day going? Yeah. Just a whole lot of painting. I think I actually used some paint here because I didn't like the color. Again, it's hard to know for sure. I'd taken a little clipboard um, and glued a phone mount to it to serve as like a table to uh, hold the, the phone to record with. I've completely forgotten about that thing. Yeah, that definitely seems to be paint. Definitely painting it. And some more oil, I think, maybe, or more paint. Interesting, engaging play-by-play -play action. I 
I feel like the voiceover is more entertaining and I can change the music on it. The music wasn't very great in the old video either. Dabbing the paint and stuff off so it's not taking over it completely. And there's the finished product. I think it turned out pretty good. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I'm going to have other videos go live. I'm going to make at least three videos go live the same week on the new art channel. So there's some content there. And I'm going to uh, release one of my older art videos every week in order that they originally came out. And I'm going to try to randomly put in new art videos as we go along. But that's it for now. So I hope you're having a good one. Thanks to my patron, Swift Logic. Thank you for watching. Links to in the description to my other socials. And as always, remember to be safe and be good.